Now let's look at this one. Complete the following statement. Complete the following statement. Um, if the opposite angles of the quadrilateral are equal, then the quadrilateral is let's complete it. If the opposite sides of a quadrilateral are equal, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Alright? Oh, that makes sense. One of, one of the rules of parallelogram, opposite sides must be equal. Use the sketch below to prove that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Oh, alright. Let's see. This is proven that the parallelogram are equal. And we have that. All right, we are given that this and this are parallel. And we have um, a transversal line BD, which is the diagonal. Okay? Is it okay to say that D1 is equal to B2? D1 is equal to B2. What's the reason? Alternate what? Angles. And remember, when you tell me alternate angles, you need to tell us which lines are parallel. AD is parallel to BC. In the same way, can we say B1 is equal to D2? Alternate what? Angles. But in that case, AB must be parallel to DC. Are we sure? Let's check. So that and that are equal. Okay. Beautiful. So is it okay? Now, um, BD is equal to BD common common side therefore these triangles are congruent can we then say triangle A B do you remember we talked about the movement is congruent to triangle C D B angle angle side or you can say side angle angle so A is equal to angle C Angle B is equal to angle D. Alright. Are we okay? And D is equal to B again. So congruent triangle. Therefore, we can then say, they say we should prove that um, the opposite sides are parallel. Proof that the opposite sides of a parallelogram. So AB, therefore, should be equal to what? DC. And AD should also be equal to. B, C. So we are using our congruency to prove that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. 8.3. Let's create, let's just have a new page for 8.3. All right. 8.3. In the sketch below, KPMN is a parallelogram. KPMN. You have to read with ease. Alright. ON bisect KM. ON bisect angle KNM. Alright. Bisect means two equal halves. And OM also bisects that. Okay. Show that NOM. NOM. Show that that is 90 degrees. Alright. Show that that is 90 degrees degrees beautiful stuff all right remember we told that this bisects so those angles are equal let's let's make that x for simplicity and these angles are also equal yy all right let's check something by the way we are told that kpmn is a parallelogram what does that mean opposite sides are parallel okay i see if opposite sides are parallel, then I can use my core interior. Okay, let's do this. Um, let N1 be X. N2 is also equal to X because we are given that um, ON by sex, right? Because ON by sex, just to make it easy for us. All right, let M1 be Y. Therefore, M2 is also equal to Y because OM also what? Bisects. Good. Can we then say that 2X plus 2Y, do you understand why it's 2? 
core interior equals to 180 which is my core what? interior 2 into bracket x plus y equals to 180 all right so x plus y equals to 90 hold on now if you consider this triangle all right so in triangle n o m let's consider triangle n o m can we then say o2 plus x plus y equals to what 90 degrees all right angles some of angles in a triangle o2 hold on what is x plus y from here sorry not 90 180 now what is x plus y x plus y already is 90 so what do we have o2 equals to 90 degrees and that's what we want to prove and om all right prove that o is the midpoint of qp let me create i'm going to need a fresh page so that we can have all of this to ourselves of the space to ourselves all right what do we want to prove now prove that o is the midpoint of kp okay o is the midpoint of kp hmm it's going to be a long process here we want to prove that o is the midpoint of kp by the way let's keep this as 90 degrees don't forget that is a parallelogram all right okay let's see for us to prove this we can we need to find so many reasons what do we know n2 let's see okay um n2 can we say n2 is equal to o1 if kp is parallel can, yeah okay kp parallel to nm okay let's see so can i do this so n2 is equal to o1 let me use color code let's reason through first before we start writing okay so we talk about equal angles there all right what we need to prove is that ko is equal to op all right that is equal there um in the same vein with the same explanation can i say that this angle here is equal to that all right so we have the blues the red okay i hope that makes sense that <clears throat> we said m2 is equal to o1 all right by the way remember that before i go to the red one remember that this angle n1 and n2 are also equal so this angle is also that which actually gives me um, a triangle with these two opposite angles equal all right this means that this side is therefore equal to that side because the opposite um opposite base angles are equal right opposite so we have side opposite equal angles ko is equal to kn that's what we've done awesome in the same vein if we come to the right side this and this are alternate it means this is also that what does that tell us this also is equal to that however i hope that makes sense so far but if you notice this side and this side are equal kn opposite sides of a parallelogram equal to pm all right which therefore means if this is kn this is also going to be kn but this side is equal to this side so this is kn so what have we proven we have simply proven that ko is equal to kn kn is so basically 
all these sides are equal therefore ko is equal to kn remember we have that here again we said the side kn is equal to pm all right so i'm writing kn there but we said pm is equal to po which is what kn but we said kn is equal to ko all right so therefore o is the midpoint of kp yeah so you've got to reason first before you start writing otherwise you will write so many things that are not helpful 8.3.2 let's start we said m2 is equal to angle o1 that's where we started from alternate what angles because kp is parallel so you might need to rewind my thinking um session there o1 is equal to n1 all right we've already that was given okay therefore ad is equal to de side opposite equal angles ad ab rather equals to de no don't let's use I'm, I'm picking a different triangle there all right we said o n n2 rather we started from here n2 is equal to o1 alternate angles okay and then o1 therefore equals to n1 all right i hope that makes sense o n equals to n1 therefore can we say k n is now equal to k o that's what we said sides opposite equal what angles side opposite equal angles awesome now we went back to the red side and we said o3 is equal to m1 alternate angles again because kp is parallel to nm all right just the same way o3 therefore is equal to m2 therefore pm is equal to op sides opposite equal angles i'm just putting everything we've said now together all right but kn is equal to pm the two sides kn is equal to pm opposite sides of our parallel logram all right therefore ko should therefore be equal to op o is the mid point again so many things i said in here let me go through again quickly with you let's go through again all right it must make sense with what we wrote there we said we know that this line is parallel to this line this angle is equal to that angle all right so we said this angle first is equal to that angle alternate but we know this and this to be equal therefore this side will be equal to that side then we came here the same story here this side this angle is equal to that side all right and this angle is also equal to this angle that's given it means if these two angles are equal these two sides are also what equal but we know the properties of the parallelogram that kn therefore is equal to pm all right but pm is equal to op so can we say check this if i write it this way kn first is equal to ko but this kn is equal to what pm and this pm is equal to op so can you see ko is equal to op ko is equal to op therefore o is the midpoint since these two lines are equal awesome good thinking good thinking um i think we have one more question to play around with complete the following statement the line drawn to the midpoint of two sides in a triangle is parallel to the okay this is basically um the midpoint theorem all right 9.1 
the line through the midpoint of two points in a triangle is parallel to and half the third side half the length you remember the midpoint theorem right half the length of the third side 9.2 in triangle pqr okay we have this horrible triangle here a and B are the midpoint of that, okay? A and B are the midpoints there. Read till you understand what's going on. AR, let's check. AR and BQ intersect at W. All right, I see my AR there, that line. Okay. D and E are point on WQ. D and E are points there. And... Um, W are respectively okay such that W D let's check and it helped us there is equal to D Q and we are equal to R we equals to E R okay you can see those lines there proof that A D E B is a parallelogram all right look at this they are telling us that these lines are not equal so don't assume that they are equal good proof that A D E B is a parallelogram A a, D, E, and uh, B is a parallelogram. Guys, quickly take note. What are the properties of a parallelogram? At least one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. Okay. All right. Uh, let's check something. A, B mm, is a midpoint, right? No, sorry, A is the midpoint of that, and B is also the midpoint of that. Okay, awesome. Can we use, since A is the midpoint there, and B is also the midpoint, all right, you remember we constructed the midpoint theorem, right? We had to prove by construction. Is it okay to therefore say that, number one, AB must be parallel to QR, it is the line that joins the midpoint of both of them. So we can therefore conclude that the side is equal to that side. Nine point two. In triangle PQR, all right, P, Q and R. A and B are the midpoints. A and B are the midpoints of PQ and PR. All right, I'm already seeing a, a, a midpoint theorem somewhere there. AR and BQ intersect at W. Okay, that's my W there. D and E are points on WQ and WR. Okay, those are just points, respectively. Such that WD is equal to DQ, very important. And WE is equal to ER, another important point. The, um, thankful. They have actually helped us. So you have that line equal to that line. This is equal to that. Okay, so can we... Now, we want to prove that ADEB. Let's check. We want to prove that that ADEB is a parallelogram. Okay. So we want to prove that the points, uh, one pair of opposite sides are parallel and actually equal. Hmm. I, I, I love this. I love this. Okay, since this side... Let's think through first. That side is equal to that side. This is equal to that. You can see the sign. Um, can we then say this is parallel to that? All right. Using, the, using this triangle. I hope that makes sense. Using that triangle. Okay. So AB is parallel. And AB is actually half of QR. AB is half of what? QR, midpoint theorem. All right. Now, consider this triangle again. I see another triangle that we can consider. Since this side is equal to that side, that side is equal to that side, automatically, this and this are also what? Parallel. So we have DE will also be equal to half of what? QR. So if both of them are f of qr, it means ab is equal to de. And we have already proven that both of them are parallel to qr. Therefore, ab is parallel 
to DE, which makes sense. One pair of opposite sides equal and parallel. Let's put down our answer. All right. So we then started by talking about AB, right? Good. So we said AB is parallel to what? QR. Okay. Um, AB is parallel to QR. We can actually say it is the converse of a midpoint. And AB also is equal to half QR. All right. AB equals to half QR. That's what we said. Then we said again that DE, all right, um, is also going to be parallel to QR. Or rather, let's let me give a, a reason here. Line, let's say line joining midpoints. Line joining midpoints. Okay, the lines that join the midpoints are also parallel. And here we can talk about converse of midpoint or not really converse let's just say midpoint theorem midpoint theorem let's do that midpoint because we said if that and that are equal and the other sides are also equal then AB is parallel to QR same reason here all right DE and QR are parallel therefore we said DE is equal to half QR Again, meet point theorem. All right. So what do you notice? Since AB is parallel to QR and D is parallel to QR, it therefore means AB is parallel to DE and AB is also equal to DE. Therefore, AD, EB is a parallelogram. And what are we going to say? One pair of opposite sides equal and parallel that's the reason all right good i hope um this consolidation quickly brings all your properties especially let your mind roam around the midpoint theorem once you see a triangle and lines in between them goodbye